Hi, I'm Etienne from Etienne's Foods and these are my game day beef short ribs cooked on the spit bry by Steeda. Hey, so it's rugby time or soccer time or whatever sport you're into and it's game day and you want to chill and you want to have a bry and you want to enjoy the game and there's nothing better than cooking something nice on the bry. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do something on the spit bra, Bastila. I'm gonna do an Argentinian style short rib. Let it go. Make a chimichurri sauce and uh, some crispy potatoes, and that should be fantastic. So I've got a four bone beef short rib. So it's four four ribs. Got my butcher to cut it up. I got him to crack the bones for me. Usually I'd make the whole thing, but being a uh, lockdown, we don't have any people over. So I've cut it in half. And we're only going to use half of it. I'm not going to do too much to it, as I said. We really want the meat to shine. So we're just going to go and season it liberally with salt. It's a big piece of meat. So don't be shy with your salt. Um, it can handle a, a lot more than you think. Really let the, give it a good salt. Good seasoning and we're not going to put anything else because we're going to do something funky now to, to flavor it there we are there's our piece of meat we're going to take a um, the, the skewer for the spit stick it sort of in between on that seam go right through all the way get it into the middle and then we'll use the end, end pieces for the spit bra. Get them into the meat and get this nicely fastened down. Here we are. Same on this side. I'm gonna let this go into the bottom piece of meat now. That's so that we sort of alternating things. Make sure it gets stuck in there. There we are. And then we will fasten that up nicely. And there it is. Ready to go on the spit. We'll be back now. Okay, so this is live and real. And I forgot to truss it. Well, we're just going to tie. Because there's different pieces of meat with sinew between and bones. We're just going to tie the, uh, tie the meat up. Okay, make it a little butcher's knot. Grab it goes around the tree twice and then down the hole. And then just give it a little, little slip knot. There we are. Not too tight, but we just want to keep it together. Another one here on this side. Make a little loop. Twice around. Sure it goes. And then just tighten it. Good old which is not. There we have it. cooking one other little thing i did got a foil pouch with some oak chips in there that's going to heat up and uh, burn create some smoke give us some wood fire flavor we're going to let this cook and we will be back in a little bit argentinian style asado would not be complete without chimichurri how do you make it well this is how Carmen makes it, and in my opinion, she's the best chimichurri maker that there is. If you have shallots, use a shallot. If you don't, don't use shallots of onion. Just use a bit. We'll take some onion. That'll go into the little food processor. One red chili. 
four cloves of garlic, about a teaspoon of dried oregano, about a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. We're gonna go in with about a teaspoon of salt. Three of my pinches is about a teaspoon of salt. And then about 30 grams of parsley. Parsley is the herb you want. And one of these little goadies from your local, you know where, uh, is, is 30 grams. So we're going to take it. Just roughly chop it out so the little processor won't deal. This one was pre-rinsed. Stuff it in there. Then, <clears throat> liquid-wise, we're going to use a bit of vinegar. <sighs> the Argentinians will use red wine vinegar. I just never have it. So what I do is I take two teaspoons of white spirit or white wine vinegar, tablespoons, two tablespoons. And then one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Got this gorgeous balsamic vinegar from the guys at Peak and Cheap. Oak matured balsamic. It's fantastic. And then it gets a whole two thirds of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, but don't put it in here. The reason is simple. The manufacturers of the olive oil have gone through a lot of effort to make it cold pressed so that you get all the goodness and the flavor you put it in here it's going to heat up it's going to cook what's the point so uh, we're going to go in blitz this up you don't want to make a paste you just want it to be uh, finely minced so you can do this by hand if you want to that down in there there we are that looks amazing and now we'll add the olive oil and two thirds of a cup that's quite a bit but that's fine because you're going to use this and you can keep it in the fridge for a week at least And this way you keep that gorgeous character of the olive oil, the flavor, gone through all the expense to buy good olive oil. I'm just gonna use that much. I didn't really measure it. And there is our chimichurri. We'll put that in the bowl serve this with the short rib. Crispy roast potatoes go so well with beef. Any beef. So we'll take these, I'll wash them, um, and I'm leaving the skin on because there's a lot of flavor in the skin. And we'll basically just quarter them. These are sifra potatoes. They're very versatile. And available at most places in the pot they go because we're gonna cook them or cook them first and they're basically just gonna crisp up in the old spit dry in the water they go need to add a bit more water in here there we are good pinch of salt Stick that on the stove for about 
20 minutes so they cooked let them cook properly and then we'll throw them in the vegetable tray of the steeler spit bar. Okay, so the meat is ready. How do we know that? That's what we're looking for. Can you see how the meat is pulled back on the rib bone? Let's wait for it to come around again. There we are. You see the pull on the bone? It's pulled back, expose some bone. And that's what we're looking for. A nice pull on the bone. I'm going to take it off. And let it rest a little bit. And we'll just let the potatoes go a little bit longer. Alright, so it's done. Got our potatoes nicely roasted in the bottom in the uh, veggie tray of the steeler spit brine. Apollo is running and running around the kitchen playing it's a real house and we've got the short rib that's come off and it's done because you can see how it's exposed the rib bone it's called the pull and that's what you want to see got our chimichurri sauce this is how much that recipe makes it makes a whole jar um, and trust me once you've made this you put it on all your steaks every time you broth, your brewers rolls everything your eggs this is delicious so make it and obviously uh, so the big reveal let's have a slice let's see how this looks here we go sounds juicy mm -hmm. looks juicy There it is. Lovely, juicy, short trip, delicious. Ready for you to enjoy while or after you watch the rugby. Whatever it is you're into. Drizzle some sauce over that. The sauce is delicious. They might not know how to play rugby, but they can make sauce. The Argentinians. Sorry guys, just a joke. Try this. My game day. Argentinian style short ribs. With crispy potatoes. And chimichurri. So there's only one thing left to do, I almost forgot, and that's the taste test. Okay, sorry, I needed a moment there. That is amazing. You can really taste the beef because we just put some salt on it. It's got that hint of smoke from the wood chips that I put on that top tray of the spit brine. The chimichurri just lifts it. It's got a nice balance between salty and sweet and sour. And uh, it's an unbelievable meal. Enjoy. Thank you.